Hey everyone, welcome to Camping with Steve. The last video we had a little bit of an issue with an unplanned storm, shall we say. So I'm experimenting with something I'm probably going to add to my kit, and that is a shelter. This little survival reflect tent thing. Um, it looks pretty good. Apparently there's enough room in there for what, one person in the gear. Uh, and of course I'm in <laughs> a regular campground full of very nice fifth wheels and RVs, and I'll just turn some heads here and set this little thing up. This is not stealthy. My initial reactions on this are, it would not be good in a storm. <laughs> so the gear inside is probably gonna provide most of the structural integrity for this thing. Uh, so let's throw it in there. My initial reaction is that there is actually a lot of room in here, but holding it open um, will be the tricky part. And begin with the air mattress. And uh, <laughs> I got one of these little uh, frivolous addition uh, the auto inflator and I'm surprised it takes like two AAA batteries and I've inflated this thing um, probably six or seven times and it's still going strong so hope for more of that today Okay, that's kind of good. The extent of the gear you can fit in here is a backpack. So uh, you could probably fit two people in here though in an absolute survival situation. Uh, you wouldn't want to hang out in there too much, but this, this little thing could save your bacon in a serious emergency. Because survival is a great skill and a great art, but it is not very pleasurable usually. So if this thing is paper thin. I don't know how long it would last. This is pretty much a single-use plastic but uh, you can see right through it uh, basically and hopefully it'll hold the heat in tonight but I'm getting thirsty it sets up reasonably quick uh, not as quick as the hammock but these are not comparable shelters <laughs> by any stretch so uh, with no further ado time for step two and I have to give a shout out to beautiful wife who actually got this as uh, an anniversary present and it's going to good good use we'll get the fire started in a little bit here oh is that good is that ever good Does seem like there could be some rain coming, so that'll be a great test for this guy. Torch and secret ingredient. That should do just fine. That's a little obvious. 
That's really obvious. Yeah. While we got light, I'm going to do this meal prep stuff. I'm going to be doing savory crepes tonight. So, don't have a blender. This will do, I do believe. And it's your, your real basic uh, crepe recipe. Flour, milk, eggs. I don't have a specific fancy recipe I use. Mm, cup of milk. Mm. A little bit more. A couple cockadoodle-doos here. And uh, salt. And I'm going to need some melted butter. So I know just how to do that. Looks like a couple tablespoons to me. Deja vu. Mm. Huh. Huh. Melted butter. And then we blend it. And there you go, camping blender. Of course, the irony of all this is that it's been an absolute drought this year and <laughs> I could have picked a better tent but this will give it a good test. So that's clearly blown over and there's nothing more to worry about so let's say we cook up some mushrooms that'll be going into this crate later on. I'm getting hail in my mushrooms. As much as I'm a sucker for punishment, I just don't think it's safe to sit in that aluminum coated uh, <laughs> Mylar emergency tent during a thunderstorm. This should pass soon, but as soon as it does, it's probably going to be dark. So we've at least got the food prep done, and now we just sit and wait it out. keep the fire going through that storm I pretty much had to burn all the wood and I'm on the last few pieces now so I'm not gonna mess around with crepes right at the moment I got my emergency hot dogs with me I'll cook those up uh, right on this nasty old grill and in the morning it's gonna be breakfast crepes I guess uh, nothing wrong about that I've got everything I need and uh, things should be okay uh, things look like they stayed pretty dry obviously there's going to be a little bit of moisture in the structure but that is to be expected for a $10 $15 emergency shelter uh, let's uh, cook these up get to bed and deal with these problems in the morning Okay, clearly not what I wanted for dinner, but breakfast does promise to be pretty delicious. Um, so I will um, 
thank you to everybody who has donated to the Beer Donation Fund. Breakfast should be good. More adventures to come. Things kind of got a little crazy tonight uh, with the weather, so I, I never quite know what I'm going to get, particularly with that weather station down right now. I would have been able to, well, I don't know. It would have probably still ended up the same way. I'm going to crawl into the tent there in a second and hunker down, so to speak. In the morning, we'll reassess the situation, grab a little more firewood, and cook those crepes up because I'm really craving them right now. And we're at that beautiful time of year where I don't need a cooler because the temperature is so cold I don't need one. I just leave the food right in the car and all will be good. Oh yeah. Right on. Okay, um, of course this is a very temporary emergency shelter. Uh, things did hold up pretty good. There's a little moisture in the sleeping bag. That's okay. Um, I'll crawl in here, see how it does for the night, and give you the review in the morning um, before we have our crepey breakfast. Um, I'm excited about that. So, I could probably sleep under the stars tonight, but we know how that's been going lately. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be about 5 degrees Celsius, the same as before. Uh, fairly chilly, you know, 40 Fahrenheit, about refrigerator temperature, so. <clears throat> huh. Feeling cozier already, this stuff does seem to reflect some body heat. So, move these out of the way. Yep. See you guys in the morning. Ah. Good morning. That went about as well as could be expected. Uh, it was a bit chilly, but the sun is up and it's looking like a really nice morning. So, I'm gonna get up and conquer the day. So basically the biggest issue with this shelter I found is it collects the water underneath. So, this doesn't hang out further than the floor. And of course, it fills up with water so the bottom of the sleeping bag they get pretty wet and although it was a little bit chilly it was survivable but then it was also not very cold last night but in an actual survival situation you know a half a degree warmer or a degree warmer is the difference between surviving and not surviving sometimes so it's it's got uses but i I don't know, I think if I were setting this up, I would, uh, if I were setting it up in a serious survival situation, I'd probably try to tuck this in a little bit more in the bottom and attach this somehow onto the rope a little bit better so that it kind of hangs over like a ridge there. And that's, uh, that's my two cents about this, but it's, uh, it's noisy, it's not stealthy, um, but if you're using one of these, you probably want to be seen. So I don't think I'll add one to my kit, but I'm gonna keep looking for an option somewhere between this and a tarp. Um, tarps, I have a couple of them, but even, even the good backpacking ones, the like polyester ones or whatever they are, they're hard to fold back up and get right back in the bag again. So I'm gonna continue my search for something I can keep in the backpack for those nights when I'm not sure how the weather's gonna go. I'm gonna see what happens when I dump this batter in this pan. One of the main reasons I brought emergency dinner, and I'm glad I did, was that I've made crepes once before, and they ended up awful. <laughs> so it was a bit of an ambitious uh, thought, thinking that if I couldn't do it on a stove in the house, um, you know, 
the campfire's got to be easier, right? So, oh, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, a lot of batter in that one. Oh no. Okay. Just, yeah, make it the whole, the whole pan. Why not? Part of the problem with this pan is I got it from a thrift store. This is one of these dollar store, or not a dollar store, the infomercial pans. And um, Gotham Steel or something. But given that it came from a thrift store, there's a warp in the middle there. So when I'm making a crate, like just now, all the batter runs to the edge. I hopefully got enough of it in towards the middle that this uh, shouldn't be a total disaster. You never know, this is me. That's a really good sign. I think this could happen. Unreal. Now we're getting somewhere. Right on. Swiss cheese, some mushrooms, some prosciutto. Yum. There we go. Mushrooms for good luck. Now, how about that? How about that little guy? That looks like a camping meal if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I gotta do this in the future now that I know I'm not completely terrible at making a crepe. The moment of truth is gonna tell me what I need to know. Yep, this is joining the rotation of camping meals. Anybody has uh, recipe suggestions for savory crepes, or possibly sweet ones, uh, please let me know. And that's a good way to start the day. This will give me the fuel I need. It should solve that issue. For those that wonder, I refill this thing. Um, <laughs> it's just a convenient, lightweight water bottle for me. I don't actually put my fires out with bottled water. We got a, a tap right over there I fill this up with. Right on, that packed up super quick. So um, thanks for watching guys. I'll give an update here on our boat situation. We're supposed to be on that river right now, but it's really low. Uh, we got ambitious, we built the thing really heavy, and it's at the point that it needs those functioning drive wheels on it. And we got the back pretty much figured out, but uh, as far as the drive system, we need to get a winch and have uh, like it machined to actually drive those wheels. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. And despite it being only the first day of fall, around these parts, that's the end of summer, you know? We're losing leaves as, as we speak uh, quicker and quicker every day. And the water level has dropped incredibly low. So we need a lighter boat to go down the river, and we're building one. <laughs> we have uh, more barrels. We got a ton of those rain barrels. So what we're doing right now is we're building a simple six barrel, real simple frame. It'll be worse than the boat we took out last year, we'll put it that way. Just a simple platform for uh, me and Crazy Neighbor to go down the river, camp along the way, wherever we can, and uh, get all that 
fun stuff accomplished. I just looked at the river the other day and I wish I was floating down it right now. So we're hoping to leave um, within the next few days here. Uh, so that's, that's where we are there. And uh, I'll probably get another video filmed, something stealthy, I think, to go up uh, for next Thursday. The bad news is this was kind of a lame video, but the good news is we're back on a good Thursday schedule right now. And I've got all my all my paperwork and everything for my accountant pretty much sorted out, which all has been <laughs> going through. So uh, at this point, that's where we stand. We'll be hitting the river very shortly. And yeah, there is a highway back there. That's the joy of Alberta campgrounds. Um, many of them are so close to the highway unless you drive several hours out of the major centers. So you kind of get used to it. Uh, you guys, I'm sure, aren't. And I know that microphone is really picking up. So um, uh, that's, that's where we're at. I'll be on the river, have a good stealth probably next week. Uh, something next week for sure, probably a stealth, I don't know. But uh, before I sit here and ramble yours right off, uh, I'll, I'll quit while I'm ahead and <laughs> get out of here. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you do like it, please consider subscribing uh, just to stay up to date on, you know, it's not always a Thursday, unfortunately. I do try to do the Thursdays, but you know, with unscripted stuff, sometimes stuff shuffles around and it ends up on different days. So if you're subscribed, then you'll be sure to see it uh, if there's a late one that pops up or if something pops up early. So uh, cheers everybody. And I'm gonna get out of here and go do some uploading. So uh, we'll see y'all next week.